Uh, hello there guys, how's it going? This is uh, Matt De Tomato right here, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to our Transport Fever game here where we are, um, we're just building up a standard free game. Uh, we've got our network set up here of two major train lines and uh, one major bus line with, uh, I think we've got three, no we've only got two little bus services currently, we've got one in Bourne and one in Cheshunt, but the hope is that we can make enough money to perhaps look at maybe upgrading some trains very soon, which might be nice. I know we've only bought these uh, relatively recently, but the, uh, we either want to increase the capacity or we want to make faster trains, it's one or the other. So Cheshunt is becoming a very, very large hub here. We're making good, good money off of the routes going out of Cheshunt. So uh, Three Towns South in particular is uh, making a lot of money here, which is which is really, really good. And no doubt that uh, Three Towns West is going to start following suit because there are a lot of people here. There's still 22 people here that want to go down Three Towns West. So there's, there's certainly uh, potential here. There's also a lot of people down here now at Buxton that uh, want to be moving around so the question is whether we whether we make that investment now into uh, higher higher speed trains and the other thing is with the the bigger platforms and whatnot we can also use um, double decker uh, cars and stuff like that which will obviously increase the capacity further still uh, but at the moment uh, I think we're okay just about although we are going to leave some people behind here for sure which obviously means they're going to be pretty annoyed. There's also going to be a big dump of people that are just going to arrive here at Cheshunt. Uh, so this bus is coming around. Uh, hopefully that's going to drop off as many people here as possible, and then all these people who've just come out the uh, the train station can then hop on the bus. That'd be very nice efficiency if that were to actually work out that way. Uh, we'll see how many people get dropped off here. There's a whole load more people who are coming over here though, so I don't know whether. Yeah, a whole load of people coming in here, so I think we're going to need another bus. There's so many people who want to get on this bus. Because that train has just arrived, so there's a justification for another bus here, certainly. So, um, let's go ahead and see. The issue is there's not that many others. There is justification for another bus here. No, absolutely. Okay, let's let's go ahead and uh, purchase another bus. I'll wait for that bus to get uh, maybe somewhere over there before releasing it, releasing the second one. Uh, maybe just as it leaves that stop, actually, I'll, I'll release it, because by the time that gets around there, it'll be halfway round. So, let's see. Okay, there we go. So, let's release this one. So, that will release there, yeah. And immediately, that's obviously going to pick up a whole load of people. Um, now, there's only going to be certain times where that's actually going to happen, because, obviously, the train is going to come in, and the train is only going to drop people off at certain times. So... The rest of the time, that might not work out so well, having the second bus on the route. But in general, I think it's going to be okay. I think so, yeah. It's taken just about everybody there. There's still a couple more people waiting there. But the issue is, of course, that um, it means that we're taking money away from the first bus. So running two buses might not be justified. However, I'm looking at this here, and I'm thinking that we might want to add another stop in this corner because this has now developed over here into a bit of a loop so we could very easily put another put another stop over here and make it a longer route so that maybe it's you know got the potential to develop a bit more alternatively we could maybe wait for this area over here by the station to develop over there we could run a second like we could run one bus that goes a shorter route and then this second bus can maybe run a longer route so then that might justify having two buses a little bit more so we'll we'll wait until things develop here but at the moment that might not work having two buses there, but I, I certainly think that when the train comes in, it dumps people off. Having two buses is going to be good, but how you know how often does the train come in? It doesn't come in all that often, so we don't know though because there are now two trains coming in here. Um, so we you know if there is still potential that that will be profitable. There's, see, there's a train coming up here, and that will dump people off here as well, and there'll be more people demanding use of a bus. So. There's, there is big potential for that to be to, to work well, certainly. Cool, okay. I'm very tempted to run a route over this way to, to Ipswich. Just a little train that runs between... Uh, and It might eventually go over here to, to Painswick. Because there's going to be a train that goes into Harpenden. So we could just run a little train that goes between these two. Just a very small train that runs between Harpenden and Chesham. Now that actual train may not be so profitable, but 
Um, it might mean that if we bring people over from Harbinden to here, we'll then have more people wanting to go out of Cheshire. So we could run a short train that just runs between these two stations here. There'd be no issue with that whatsoever. And it could share, maybe share a track with uh, something else here. So it'll obviously have to wait for permission to come in and stuff like that. But that's okay. Um, all things considered, though, uh, yeah, no, it might not even need to share a track. It might just be the case that we could join join that in and run that over there. So that's also a possibility. Yeah, okay, let's let's look into this. The issue is you've got a number of bridges to build here, which is slightly irritating. But we've also we're also going to be building double track here because we're going to have a train up to Colchester as well. So if we build this, uh, if we build the double track like that, yeah, so that might be okay. So we'll build double track, and then as soon as we get up here, we'll then make a turn over this way and go over towards Colchester. Now the issue here with this is this is a very big hill. So we may end up doing some ludicrous tunnel that goes all the way over there. So Colchester might not be connected for a fair while until we've got a lot of money. Then we could build a nice big tunnel that goes through there, so then that remains a really fast train. But at this current time, I don't think that's worthwhile to do. Um, certainly where we're looking to do other upgrades like uh, upgrading our existing uh, network, for example. So if we if we do this, yeah, we want we want to go high speed on our existing network before we uh, before we do anything like that. So okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, right. So let's uh, let's bulldoze this uh, logs. Okay, yeah, so it's sort of slight curvature, not much, but a little bit of a curvature. It will reduce the speed if it were to become a high-speed track. Uh, but at the moment, it's not much of a concern, so... There we go. Uh, curving the road is not the end of the world. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we could have maybe just crossed it over and actually, like, done the train on this side, but... Um, Right, there is residential at the bottom. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I will I will still keep it on this side, definitely. Uh, we could build a train station here. But it doesn't have to be a really long train, because I can't see this being that busy. So we could probably get away with running it into here. If we destroy this road, we could probably get away with this. Um, like dropping it in, yeah, almost to there. Destroy that first building. Just, just drop it in there. It's probably going to be all right. Now the downside to this is there will be a very tight turn here. Yeah, it's a, an annoying, irritating turn, that is. Right. Uh, also, that's a main road, so... There we go. We obviously need to replace that ASAP. Uh, we might be a little bit too close there. Yeah, we are. Okay, we have to destroy that as well. Right, so we go from here. And we elevate there, that's better. Something like that is probably going to be fine. That's actually a um, quite a major road here. It's a very wide road going in there. That's probably the... Um, no, it's not going to be the large country load. No, it's it's just... Uh, no, it isn't that. No, okay. I thought maybe it was... A, it looks like a wider road than the rest of it, but it isn't. It's, it's just the perspective, the way you look at it from that angle. It's really odd. Okay, um... Right, so let's make sure we... Yeah, so the issue here is actually going to be... How on earth... Uh, no, let's... I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's destroy that whole road and we'll run that differently. So... So that draws along there. Yeah, the downside to do it... Yeah, I wanted to keep that relatively fast. That was the issue. I couldn't turn it too tight. Um, the issue now, though, is I've now got... a bit too, it's going to potentially be a bit too tight, unless I keep it, yeah, let's do this instead. 
There we go. That's better. Yeah. So it costs a little bit more money, but uh, it's it's a bit faster. So that's okay. Not that this needs to be all that fast anyway. And then we basically need to carry on running this track alongside here. It's going to be a double track for a little while. But then here is where it's going to break away. It's probably eventually going to be a... Um, to be fair, we could probably run it around there. Yeah, see, it's still uphill. We could run a humongous curvature, but it's still asking to build a, tu uh, a tunnel. So it's not going to make that much difference. So there's, there's not much... No, there's no difference there at all. So... We'll be okay doing that. Right, we also need to uh, reconnect this um, this little uh, place over here. I don't know, we might not even do anything with this place, but... Um, I mean, we, we probably won't, but um, let's, let's just connect it up anyway. So that it's at least got some sort of connection. What is it? Is it a... Uh, it's an iron ore mine. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we could make some steel. Could be a thing. Yeah, that, that could in fact be a thing. Um, right, we can also create a train depot that maybe services both of these lines here. Which would in fact be useful. So I'm going to go with something a little bit more traditional. So we build a train depot that is essentially... Um, might inhibit some of the development of this place though. But yeah, we build it here and then we just build like a two two things that go either way. So we start by going that way there and then... We basically just join it. Right, is that connected? Sometimes it doesn't connect properly, but in this case it does, so that's okay. And then somewhere along here, so say we wanted to, if it was connecting to the other track, if it was a train that was belonging to that other track, then we can just make that swap uh, there, basically. So, And then we can do the same over this way, so we'll grab this... That looks relatively okay. Now, it's not too much of a bother that that's relatively slow. It doesn't have to be uh, particularly fast. So, yeah, and again, that joins in there. And so then further down here, we can just then create a small piece of joining track that will allow... Oh, no, that's done it wrong. That has not connected correctly. So that's why we always have to check. There we go. That's better. Much better. Okay, so that will allow that to join in. Now, in this case... Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and put in a couple of signals on either side here. So I'll put one there, and I'll put one there. So that if anything's coming out the depot and we've got a train that's running between the two, then obviously the train that's running between the stations that's actually hauling things is going to be the one that's going to take priority. So and the same over here as well. So the train will wait here, and then once that track is cleared over there, it will then join that track and move up that way. Now we could put the signal a bit further along if we wanted to, but... There's no real need, so we'll just we'll just put it there like that. That's going to be fine. Okay, we're actually making some good money here, but let's go ahead and purchase a train. Now, I'm thinking about this one because it's small. Um, it doesn't need to be all that quick. And the rest of them are very expensive for, you know, it's, it's it doesn't need to be anything massive. 56 mile an hour. I don't know, maybe we do just create this one, but we may make it maybe only a couple of cars. But... I don't know. Um... It's also half the maintenance cost. No, let's just make it this one. Sorry. We'll make it that one, yeah. Okay, I need to create the, uh, create the route first, though. That would be... Uh relatively helpful I'm, I'm, I'm assuming uh right what was this place called again um harpenden that was it um so we go line manager uh let's go with this one um give like some sort of blue i don't know uh, let's go harpenden cheshunt that'll do so we created like a different because it's not part of the major network so it's you know, it is just a little local line, essentially, is what it is. It is just a local line. So, we buy our train. We'll make it the same colour. 
which is a real funky purple. That's okay. Uh, so we'll purchase that one, and then I suppose um, we could just get a couple of these. I might get the. Can we get the nicer one? Should we get the nicer one? Um, doesn't really matter, does it? Um, let's just get two of those. We'll start off with two. If we if we see that it uh, develops to be a lot busier, we can add more cars. Or we could maybe just go ahead and put a couple of double-decker cars on instead. Uh, so that will take the capacity up to 66, which is basically two. You're getting you only you're buying two cars instead of having three. But then you'd have to look at the uh, the individual cost. So is it cheaper to have three of these ones or two of these? Uh, the answer is it is cheaper to have two of these uh, for sure. So we could have put, possibly just done that straight off the bat which might have been a little bit more of a better efficient use of resources, but uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll see whether that becomes busy or not, and if it does, we will reallocate the coaches accordingly. So, but We've now got three trains using this, uh, so there's, there's a shorter train, obviously, but yeah, we've got three trains using this now. So this station is now very busy. Um, three Towns West is just coming in. I was just about to check that. Three Towns West is just coming in. There's 84 people waiting there, and we've got 84 people capacity. So it's only just okay at the moment, uh, that particular train, uh, which is kind of interesting. I'm also looking at Cheshunt here, and I'm thinking about the two buses. How are they doing? Uh, we've got Cheshunt. Yeah, see, now one Cheshunt Central is actually losing money. Um, so it might be worth reallocating a bus route here. So, ooh, someone is trying to phone. How interesting. Okay, guys, I am back. Uh, that was um, my Katie's mum on the phone. So important that we take those kind of calls. Right, um, so yeah, we were looking into um, expanding here. So what I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to change the routes a little bit here. So that the, the extra bus here is going to take a slightly longer trip. Which, it might not initially make that much difference, but I think uh, at some point it might. So, let's put the bus stop on the end over there. That is the correct side of the road, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, um, if we pause... Um, how busy is this bus? Nine people. How busy is this bus? Okay, 25 people. Right, so, this one's also close to the depot. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to send it back to the depot. I'm not going to sell it because I'm going to reuse it. So... The notion being that I'm going to grab uh, Cheshunt Central. I'm going to rename it uh, Cheshunt Central A. There we go. I'm going to do that. Could theoretically run a bus going the other way, but that's that's another potential thing we could have done. We could have run a bus going the other way, but yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, and then we're going to go with a new line, and we're basically just going to call it. Cheshunt Central B is all we're going to call it. And so the only difference is we are just going to add an extra stop. So, so it's not going to make that much difference. But what I'm thinking is eventually I want to, as this place grows, maybe run the, the, run the second route around here or something like that. Like run it in a couple of different ways. I zoomed in far too close there. Yeah, and just run it in a couple of different ways. Maybe even... I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe, do I have to have it run down here? Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll just run it like that. That's okay. That's not going to be a massive issue. So actually, this bus here then, instead of uh, sending it to the depot, I'm actually just going to reassign it then to uh, Cheshunt Central B. So that's probably what I should have done instead of sending it to the depot, because I just lost all those passengers. But that's one of those things. Uh, oh, the other thing that I need to do is on this route, I need to grab Kingsway 2. And make that unload only. That's the only other thing I need to do. Okay, excellent. Right, let's uh, let's have that uh, have that running. There. Cool. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of people here, so yeah, lots and lots of people. So we'll see whether people like swap between different routes. I don't know. That might be the case. I'm not sure. Because what I don't know is whether it says like say say they're going to this stop down here, which is on both routes. Would they then move across? to the other bus. I don't know whether people would do that, or whether they're specifically going to somewhere that's... Uh, I'm not really sure. 
But it looks like no is the answer. So that's a real pen in the ass. Um, that's a real pen in the ass. So it doesn't work like that. That's a pain. Yeah. Normally that would have grabbed everybody on that route. Okay, here's what we're going to do then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. So this other bus that's over here. Um, I'm going to assign it to Cheshunt Central B. And then uh, route A is going to disappear. So we delete that route. And then we, we just, yeah, okay. So my experiment kind of failed a little bit there, though. And just reassign it like that. In fact, I probably should have reassigned it the other way because all those passengers have just disappeared. Oh, there we go. So they're now, they're now coming back here. They're waiting here. Also, a train has just come in. So whether that dropped anybody off is uh, anyone's guess. No one was waiting there to come out here to Harpendine. There are six people over there, though. So for now... Those two coaches uh, are probably sufficient, and they're probably going to be sufficient for a fair time. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> cool. Sorry. Say hello to Katie, everybody. <laughs> cool. Okay, right. So we'll just run that route there, and I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. But yeah, certainly there's more trains coming in here as more people get dumped off here. Um, there will be bigger market for the buses so maybe it might work out okay also if the train comes in more frequently thanks to high speed then we might definitely generate some more income <laughs> what's the equivalent of photo bombing but on videos <laughs> video bomb is that a thing i don't know <laughs> We love her, really. <laughs> right, okay, so we'll lurch that. We'll see how long that takes. I probably should have done that thing by going the other way, though. Like, actually running it the other direction to the other route. That might actually be the thing to do eventually. So, either that, or we ditch both of these bigger buses and go with two smaller ones. Which might also be a potential thing to do. I don't know. Not sure. But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll monitor that, see how we go. <laughs> Right, cool. Uh, this uh, food production is going ballistic, isn't it? Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so is there potential justification for another truck? <laughs> there might be potential justification for another truck. Or ten, <laughs> because there's a lot of cargo. Um, this is still producing a good amount of stuff, so there's... Yeah, let, let's put one more truck on here. Like, let's... Let's just do it. We'll have five trucks running this route. That's that's going to be fine. So, and I'm not that bothered that there's a not much of a gap here between these two because you know there's so much stuff waiting at that station now. There's almost justification for running a train to do this now, but we we don't need to because the other thing is that there's a lot of hills here. This is right up in the hills. That would be a pretty annoying route to run a train. So. There's no, there's no need to, and we'd have to, we'd essentially have things being loaded onto a train here that would then literally just go over there. It's, it's a pointless thing to do. So we, we, it's too close to, to run a train. We don't need to. So we will stick with the trucks, and we'll, we'll see how we go. Right, I'm looking at the monies here, and I'm now starting to think that maybe this original track that we created here, it's about time that we upgraded it to high speed and put a higher capacity train on it. Um, is what I'm thinking about this route. So, um, I'm, I'm trying to select this train and it's not working because I'm, I'm too far zoomed out, but yeah. So, look at, yeah, it's full. It is so full. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to upgrade this because we're not able to take everybody now. So, we need a faster train that has more capacity. So, what we're going to do then is we're going to start by upgrading the track to high speed. So we initially have to upgrade the track at the station. So we need to do all three stations first. And then we can do the... I believe there is an easier way of actually doing this. But um, yeah, so we'll go high speed. Um, like I think if you actually try and upgrade the whole track, it will upgrade the station automatically if you if you do that. But I don't know. Now the the, the annoying thing here is we're going to make the entire station uh, high speed here, which is not necessarily what we like. I wish there was an option to like 
um, pick which um, to you know to, to, to pick which uh, which tracks were were high speed and which weren't. I was I, I do wish that that was a thing, but unfortunately we can't do that. So right, we now need to go ahead and we need to uh, this one here. There we go, high speed tracks. So we'll start by we'll upgrade this uh, this one to start with. Uh, right, so this will obviously be a very fast track now. So, well, initially it's going to be not so fast, but yeah, we don't need that to be high speed. That's okay. We're 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 all right with that. Now, of course, at the moment it's not not going to change anything for this existing train because its maximum speed is seventy five. So, it's going to change nothing for that train. But we are going to go ahead and we're going to put a new train on this track. So uh, I feel like the easiest way would be to just introduce the new train onto the track and then destroy this train at some point. The downside to doing it that way is we will need to get it to uh, return to depot. And I think it has to return to the depot that you... Um, that you actually got it out from which is ever so slightly annoying to say the very least because this is the downside with me building the um, building it this way basically um, is I've now got to wait for well I don't have to I can force that train to reverse but while it's making money there's no point I've now got to wait for that train to come all the way back so I missed my window there to actually upgrade the uh, actually upgrade the train but it's one of those things but what I'm thinking of going with, uh, if we open this up, uh, I wasn't going to go with a TGV because it's far too much money at this particular point in time. Uh, I was actually going to go with this train here, the commuter train, um, and then I was because it's already got a capacity of 99 because it has a double decker built on board already, and then I was just going to add uh, probably two double decker cars to it um, so that it's got a capacity of around about 160 which is quite good um, and yeah so that will probably service that line for a long time and eventually maybe down the line we could install a, a TGV uh, which is super fast we could definitely do that um, because the, we've already set this line up to be a quick line but at the moment we don't have the initial funds to be able to afford a TGV the other thing is we're not making quite enough money to be able to actually put a TGV down because their maintenance cost is so high so um, that's one of those things. So currently, every train except the Harpenden Chess Hunt and every bus is currently making money. So that change we made there with the extra stop, allowing the bus stops to build up a few more passengers over time, has actually worked uh, rather well here. And we now have a system where actually we have every single uh, bus making money and just about all our trains. The Harpenden Chess Hunt is still a not quite so profitable route. Um, I think it's just because of the yeah it's it's just not that it, it's not that much of a distance between them. And by the time that train makes it back, it's not it's not quite making that much money. So, but I feel like you know it's bringing an extra set of passengers into Cheshunt, which are either going to use the bus or they're going to um, they're going to move on to other lines. So we're bringing other passengers in. So it, in many ways, it is actually very very helpful that. Um, that that train is present because we're actually bringing more passengers onto subsequent routes so we're making more money off of other trains uh, right so what I was thinking is actually I'm just going to uh, reverse this train here and put it into the depot when it when it gets over this way I'm just going to put it in it's as simple as so uh, but I'm going to end this episode right here then so that's for now cheers for watching guys this has been myself Matt Tomato be sure to subscribe follow the series and join me next time for more transport fever uh, where hopefully we're going to upgrade to some faster trains see you later guys